Today we're going to check out Bring a Trailer and see if there's any cool Hondas on there for sale right now that we can talk about and maybe play a little game to see who can guess the closest to their final sale price. Why? Well inventory is almost non-existent right now so I've got to find some other content ideas and this is one we're going to try out. First up is an Odyssey. Wait, not that Odyssey, the more fun option of the two. This 1985 FL350R Odyssey packs a 329cc two-stroke engine, and man are these things a blast to rip around in. You've gotta love the retro red, white, blue, and bronze color scheme, and this thing is pretty clean. You can see some scrapes from where she's been used, but considering this thing is 37 years old and an off-road toy at that, she's in good shape. I've wanted one of these and a pilot, no, the other pilot, since I was a kid and man oh man would I love to have a few, one to keep stock and put away, one to bastardize by throwing a sport bike engine in it, and the other one as a mildly modded unit. Now I just need to hit the lotto to make that happen. Back on topic though, I'm going to guess this GM hits right around the $10,000 mark, but throw your comment down below and let's see who gets the closest. Next up is another one I'd love to own, but I'm sure I'll be saying that a lot in these videos. It's a 2004 Honda NSR 50R that packs a 49cc two-stroke engine paired up to a 6-speed transmission. These were only available for one year here in the USA and weren't street legal, but if you didn't mind a little legwork, you can make them legal for the streets. We had two of the newer versions of these, the four-stroke NSF 100 in the crate when I first started working at a Honda dealership back in 2006, and I'd give anything if I could have snatched both of them up, as you don't see these bikes changing hands often. I'm going to guess this little guy exceeds its original MSRP of $35.99 and gets up to right around the six dollars to $7,000 mark, but let me know what your guesses are below. Now we've got another gem from 1985 and something Honda wishes they could erase from the record books. The ATC and more specifically the 200S. This one owner bike is clean and really reminds you of simpler times before everything had to have all the electronics under the moon and cost way more than it should. However, I do love that our suspension tech has come a long way since then so we're not relying on fat tires to help do the job and keep us out of the chiropractor's office, but there's no denying fat tires look cool. Now this isn't the ATC 250R, so its value isn't going to the moon, but I still think it'll do pretty well and probably end up around 5,000 bucks, but what do you guys think? Next up, we've got a 1994 Honda CBR1000F, and this thing is clean. Not perfect, but she's in a lot better shape than most almost 30-year-old sport bikes. Like most off-road toys, sport bikes usually don't lead a good life as they're thrown around and cobbled back together and so on. So to see one as in pristine condition as this with the factory plastics is rare. She's nowhere near today's leader bikes, but with 135 horsepower in an almost 10 second quarter mile, it's nothing to sneeze at. My first bike for the street back in the day was a 94 CBR 600 F2, so this thing brings back some memories. I don't think these bikes have hit their peak when it comes to values and interest behind them like there will be in the coming years, so I'm going to guess she hits right around the $4,000 mark, but let me know what you guys are thinking down below. And that's a wrap for this experimental video. Post up your guesses below and I'll update a pinned comment below once the auction's end, as well as included in the next video on who got the closest to their selling prices for each of these models. Thanks for watching and supporting all of this. I really appreciate it guys, and we'll see you in the next one.